So, what do I think about Call of Duty? Well, okay, first off, let's start with the cons. It's Call of Duty. That's it. it it's Call of Duty. There's always going to be the main con of it being Call of Duty. You still get shot in the back. You take only four shots and you die. You're weak as shit. It and if you think and if you think there's any kind of skill involved in it, well then that's what you're just telling yourself and you're doing really good in a map and match and you want to golf clap your achievement. No. There's no skill involved. It's all up to the fucking net code. You might as well pray to Aaron Jesus. There, it is bland. It's bland. It's always bland. It's it's cookie cutter, or it's as first part and as general as it always been. It's Call of Duty. Just saying Call of Duty, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now let's get to the pros. It's escalated. See, I'm not a, see, I wouldn't call myself a huge Call of Duty fan, but I'm gonna tell you this. The first Call of Duty I ever owned was Modern Warfare 3. And in my mind, that was always meant to be the last. For one simple reason. For one joke. Y me, sitting in the back of my room, holding the game in my hand, fully maxed out all, all levels, gotten everything I needed and wanted. Not gonna prestige, because I'm not a fucking asshole. And I said to myself, The only way you're gonna make your the only way you're gonna get me to make to buy another Call of Duty is if you set it into the future. It has to go sci-fi for me. Then Black Ops 2 came out. Then Advanced Warfare came out. Then Ghost came out. Well, Ghost wasn't really futuristic sci-fi ish. And then Black Ops 3 came out. And when Black Ops 3 came out, I was scoffing at the idea. As a matter of fact, when Black Ops 2 came out, I was scoffing at the idea. Pfft, wow, they actually set into the future. I'm surprised. Now on the principle of what the fuck I just said, now I have to go buy that game. That's why I had Black Ops 2. So... They set into the future, and the first thing I think of, pfft, rab right, like they'll ever send it to space. Is this remain true for Advanced Warfare, Black Ops Three? It's like they're not gonna send it to space. That's ridiculous. That will truly be jumping the shark. And then the trailer to Infinite Warfare came out, while everyone else was scoff disliked, hated it, was upset, I looked in complete shock as the biggest glee in my face was so shiny in appearance. When you can sit through an entire trailer and the only thing you're thinking is SPACE! 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 That is, that is the sound of a sold man. Look, while everyone's upset that Infinite Warfare is jumping to shock and going to space, I'm the most in disbelief, in shock and disbelief out of all of you. 
shock and disbelief that with this game, in a lot of aspects, it's almost as if whatever I've asked for, almost everything I've asked for, has started to appear. Right? I want an emotion sensor. Well, Black Ops 3 invented. Well, Black Ops 3 introduced Sixth Sense. And that was the motion sensor. It wasn't a good motion sensor. I wanted a better one, like Destiny's, but whatever. But then. But you know, next I was like health bars. I want health bars. I'm not gonna showcase health bars. Oh shit. Play Infinite Warfare. You don't have you don't see your health bar, but you see the enemy's health bar. You see your team's health bar. I like that. So so it, was, it to me it's focused on mostly on main on, eh, it's focused on uh, the principle of the fact that this is the game I wanted. This is the game. I mean, d despite its shit netcode, it it has a shit netcode. Let let's be honest here. Er, I played the beta. Huge as number of my shots where I would direct it right into their face. To the the game says, you missed. Okay. Shoot someone right in the dick. You missed. Yeah right. Or it, or they make it look like you never fired. It's it's still that bad netcode. Whatever. It's and it still has it's to it still has the issue for me of people fucking who use sniper rifles like all the goddamn time. It still has the fucking quick scopers. Those fucking assholes that, oh yeah, yeah, it takes a lot of skill, but you've ruined every firefight ever. They don't realize this. This, and they're like, you know, adapt or die. Bitch, I'm playing the game to have fun. Don't take that away from me, but they don't care, as usual. The game is, I don't want to say fun, right? It's it's fun in the sense that it's it's a good time waster. It's a good way to waste time to play for ha for however long. You know, well I I'm not the type of COD player who buys a DLC. You know, I don't buy the DLC. I played Black Ops 3 all the way up until like a couple months ago and I bought not one lick of DLC. Not one. Not one piece of DLC. Nor did I buy any of the supply drops because I'm not about to throw away my money on a fucking gamble. No. That's fucking stupid. And they should know better, but they don't. They won't ever know better. The way I see it is this. You know, in, in prime conclusion, it's Call of Duty. If you like Call of Duty, you'll like this game. If you don't like Call of Duty, you don't you won't like this game. Simple as that. Only the only the hardcore fans of Call of Duty that I've seen are the only ones able to tell. So the difference between Call of Duty, so if you're casual like me, it's Call of Duty. So who cares? Right?